Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Polya. In this video I'm going to show you how to change your appearance uh, after you've created your character because in the latest uh, update of the game the uh, developers added more ways to customize your character um, that is actually free and accessible to everyone and you won't have to buy any of the premium options. In order to do that uh, you can go into the village and visit Jail's shop, but you can also do that in your home as long as you have a wardrobe. I have one placed down, but I'll first show you how you can uh, place one down uh, if you don't have one. So here in my storage, I already have one that I crafted. It's uh, this one, the Bellflower wardrobe. Uh, but if you're just starting off the game, uh, you would need to craft one in order to be able to use it. Once you've crafted it, you simply need to put it down anywhere on your plot and access it in order to change your appearance. So we're going to do just that right now and we're going to place it down over here. If you walk over to it, you're going to see that a text appears. It says F change clothes. We're going to press F and now this... Uh, it bugged out. Um, this is going to appear, and for some reason, it's uh, it's bugged out. Um, let's uh, quickly. Yeah. Uh, still, the the game is in beta, so you can expect some uh, glitches overall. But uh, we are going to. We're going to change the hair, but first let's leave the plot and return to see if this is going to fix it. Uh, usually when uh, facing uh, kinds of bugs, most are uh, fixed by simply relaunching the game. But we're going just to try and fix it by leaving the, our home plot and returning back to it, because that often does the trick. And now we simply walk back inside. Now let's see. Let's see if that did anything, or we might need to uh, relaunch the whole game. Yep. See. Sometimes uh, simply as walking outside and walking back in fixes it. So now we're going, uh, after we've accessed, accessed this uh, menu, we're going to change uh, her appearance a bit. And we're going to start by walking over all of these new hairstyles. Let's see, this one is kind of wavy and as, as if like she's uh, wearing it in a, in a ponytail like, but it's... Uh, Unruly. Hmm, this is not so bad. Mm -hmm. I like the way it's the way this one is braided and it's then tied back. Uh this is the the hairstyle I was currently using. No. I wanna give her a more wild appearance. Oh, this one isn't bad. It, it's uh, uh, somewhat similar to what I used to have. Maybe she just, you know, tied it differently. I don't want to go, uh, you know, complete and drastic change. So we're going to try and stick close to what we used to have. Oh. If she, if she ever rebels, this is the hairstyle she's going to go for. Now, let's see. Um, I'm Typically, I'm a fan of the short hairstyles. Um, but for this character, uh, as I said, I want to go to um, and make her a bit more wild. As if um, she's, you know, used to, to live in the woods, among animals and um, nature. But uh, she also wants to look semi-presentable for when she visits the town. 
So... She's going... Oh yeah, we're going to... Uh, we're going to change from this one to... To this, uh, and we are going to switch the colors a bit. So, since she's dyeing her hair, um, we're going to go with the darker tone. And then for the second appearance, yeah, we can unify it like this. Or, um, yeah, we'll do this. And... Change the model, let's see. Yeah, I like it like this. So next, uh, the new... Um, this wasn't available previously, but now if your character is a male one, or even if it's a female one, it seems that uh, we can add facial hair. So these are... <laughs> she looks very funny like this. Uh, but yes, uh, now you can have uh, different facial hairs for... For you to use i'm obviously not going to use one and i can't show you the masks because they're part of a outfit that's only available in the premium store that you can access with uh, real money and we have more uh glasses that we can use so previously the only available uh glasses that we can uh, we can use was uh, like uh one one pair, and now we can have the four different types of pair. Let's see. Hmm. If she ever needed reading glasses, oh, this, these look kind of, kind of nice, but um, somehow I can't imagine her wearing glasses and going, you know, uh, hunting with bow and arrow. So, uh, maybe, maybe not. Let's see, hats, hats, hats. Well, we can place a hat if it's winter time, but uh, we're not. Um, and as you can see over here, these are all different types of hats that uh, you can unlock again with real money. And let's see about the outfit. Uh, this outfit over here, uh, you, uh, you may not have it uh, in your menu, but... Uh, we, I was able to get it by uh, referring five or more friends to join the game with a referral link. And that was in there as a reward. Uh, but uh, let's see what we're going to do now. now this one is kind of temple looking. This one isn't bad. Ooh, I like the dragon. So, like a hoodie or a short one. She used to wear something like this, but with a different dye. Um, so we're going to switch it up a bit. Um, this isn't bad. And as far as the free options go, I think, uh, yeah, I think I'll go and stick either to this one or this one, depending on uh, which color I like best. So let's see. We need to make it work with her hair. So mm. the difference between both is that. Uh, the other one has some decorations along the shoulders and at the bottom. This isn't bad. It's like yellowish green. And it kind of works with the pants. I think I'll stick with the, the first option. So next are the, the pants. Let's see. We want to switch them up a bit, and as far as the free options go, we'll either go with um, with this, you know, to complete the set. And but I don't like the boots. What one thing I that that I don't like about changing your customization in uh, 
uh, how your character looks is that uh, the shoes are tied in with pants. So, for example, I can have uh, I can have these pants and um, combined with, uh, let's say, these boots, or the vice versa. Maybe in the future, if you had an option to, you know, combine them separately, that would be even better. But uh, but for this look, I think I am going to I'm going to stick with this and maybe make it a darker. I can I can unify it like this. Uh, I think I want to match it with the the under part, so we're going to do like this. Let's just see. Um, I think this fits better in some way. And let's see. No. Yeah, I like this one. I like this one. Um, <laughs> she looks funny like this. Uh, yeah, but yeah. Uh, speaking of uh, of fun thing and uh, uh, how this should be, you know, like um, comfortable to do all do different tasks. Tasks, I think. Um. I think I'll do this. Um, so here we can uh, do makeup and, for example, change uh, how her eyes are. But I don't really like it, so I'm sticking with the basic. And uh, here you can customize the glider. So this is the default glider and uh, this is the chapa glider. Again, uh, through a referral program. But what I've noticed that sometimes this chapel glider glitches out and it reverts to looking at the default one. So in order to avoid this uh, visual glitch that often irritates me, I'll stick to the, to the default one. And when you're done, you simply click confirm. And now the look is different. One other thing, one one other thing that you can customize is uh, your emotes. That is when you press T, and then this little uh, pen over here. Um, and as you can see, uh, compared to last time, we had two new emotes. Now we're able to sit and kneel down. And in order to change the emotes, you simply need to drag and drop. So, let's say that I wanted to remove the thank you uh, and change it with, uh, let's say, laugh. I'll simply drag and drop the new one over the old one. And don't be mistaken of clearing this, uh, clicking this, because it will clear everything. Uh, go with the arrow backwards and just press escape. And now when I press T, I see the new emote. Let's let's stoke the fire. Hmm, so nice. Well, this was it for today's video. Thank you all for watching and see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. See you!